Peace. What's happening, good people? This gift here for Pay Us No Mind. And today, I just wanted to talk about 1RPM and some of the new things that I've discovered that they're doing, man. You know, because they're doing some things that I'm really excited about. You know, one is they've dropped, they've dropped their distribution fee. So no more paying for the ability to get your music into iTunes and Apple Music and all of these different music stores. Now that's free of charge to 1RPM. And that in itself is big news, you know, but there's a lot of other things that they're doing, man, that is really beneficial to artists that I'm really proud and happy to announce, you know, like they're offering artists marketing support, you know, where, where they'll work with you to identify a single and they'll advertise and run advertising campaigns to promote the music, you know, they'll work to get your uh, album featured placement in the music stores that they get it into, you know, they'll work to get your songs added to featured playlists on the streaming platforms like Spotify and Tidal and Deezer and all of that, you know, they'll work to get your accounts verified, like get your, your Spotify account verified, get your, your, your Apple Music account verified, even verify your social media accounts. They'll add your music to eat to an email blast that they send out to fans that have bought music from artists they distribute, you know, featuring new releases and stuff like that, man. They're helping artists build brand partnerships, you know, where they're working with them to find other content creators to cross promote with, you know, and when I think uh, brand partnerships, I think product placement, you know, like how you had you, you ever watch a music video and you see a guy listening to a song and he has on headphones and then they close in on the headphones and you see the name brand of the headphones mad clear in the video. That's what you call product placement. And those artists are paid to wear those headphones. And when I think product, when I think Brand partnerships, I think product placement because product placement is a form of brand partnerships, you know, and if they're working to make that happen in addition to cross promotion with other content creators and things like that, then that is phenomenal. Now, to go through it, right, you have the ability to distribute your music for free and they're not charging you up front. They, they take 15% of every sale. Now, in addition to that, you also have the option of distribu distributing your music and paying $30 up front and paying that annually to keep 100% of your royalties and not pay them a percentage of sales. But unlike every other digital distributor, they allow you to switch back and forth between the two. So they know that in your first month, you're probably more likely to sell more than all of the following months. So you can sign up to pay $30 annually and keep 100% of your royalties for that first month. And then after that first month, if your sales taper off, rather than have your, having your music taken out of the streaming platforms, if you can't afford to pay that $30 annual fee, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the year or whatever, you could just switch to the free platform and not pay anything, you know what I'm saying, except for the percentage of sales. So you can jump back and forth between the two as it relates to your financial situation, you know, rather than getting your music taken down like you would with TuneCore or DistroKid if you couldn't pay their fees. Now, they also have a YouTube multi-channel network where you join and you get the ability to content ID your songs and you also get, you know, a higher uh, a split with ad revenue and things like that. And that's all well and good. And you have a whole bunch of other digital distributors that are doing that now, too. But what separates 1RPM from those guys is when I go to this, when I go to their site and I see the fact that they're actually pitching to brands to get their own ads, because that's something that a lot of people don't know. YouTube allows you to go and get your own ads and set your own ad rates for your videos. And 1RPM is doing that. They're reaching out to businesses and brands, getting their own ads at their own ad rates, which will probably be higher than what YouTube is getting for your videos. And that means that you're getting a higher split of uh, uh, higher ad revenue, you know, which is, fantastic as well man so right now what i'm seeing with one rpm i gotta take my hat off to them you know because they're making major strides they're kind of like 
they're kind of like revolutionizing the whole label system, you know, where it's like they're operating where it's like it's like you're signed to them, but you're not signed to them. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's weird in a way, man. But it's kind of a way that I, I felt like I saw things going with digital distribution anyway, because it's, it is a partnership today, you know, where it's like if you succeed, they succeed. You know, especially if they're taking a percentage of sales, so they're invested in you. But a lot of these digital distributors, you know, they're, 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 they're taking a percentage of sales without really doing anything to help you sell, you know, because they get that 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 money up front. So the, the percentage is more so like hedging their bets. If your music sells, they get a percentage. If it doesn't, they still got that upfront fee, you know? So really they're not in that invested in you. They don't really care if you sell or not. But one RPM is making that investment in you by saying, okay, cool, well, you could just distribute your music to you and we'll help get it out to the world and try to get it sales, you know? We'll help promote it to people, you know? And all they're asking for in exchange for that is a higher percentage of revenue from the music, you know, like a higher, a higher split of sale revenue, you know, which is like, come on, man, that's, that's really nothing. Unless they like doing it like the record companies where it's like, give me it 99.9%, which I highly doubt, you know? So, I mean, this is something that I really feel like artists need to jump on, man. Get while the getting's hot. This is Gift signing off. Pay us no mind. Peace.